located in different areas on every unit, but always in the PAA station. Some underneath the table, some in closets, depending on the um, remodeling that was done. But the volume should be anywhere between four and six. Some people at night staff will turn it off and then you'll get a call saying the overhead paging is not working. It's one of the things to look at, but keep it at six. It's usually the volume level that's acceptable. So again, you're coming to the nurse call. This is the console, it's a touch screen. As far as the staff is concerned, they're going to come on shift, pick a, a phone number, come to the box and press personal options. When they do that, they will get a list of the telephone numbers pertaining to that unit. So they log on as the phone number they pick up. So once they've found their phone number, they tap on that. And then what you they need to do at the duty information screen, I'm going to go off. Um, so I'm starting my shift. I'm going to come to the duty information screen and put myself on duty. This call forward extension should be exactly the same as the phone number that you're carrying. So those both should be filled in. So okay. That's so you will see the number missing. If that happens, by getting the line, you just key in whatever phone number it is that you're carrying. and then the number just shows up. But when the call comes from the bedside, it comes here. What this box is doing is looking for the phone number that it needs to send the call to. So if that number is blank or it's different than your phone number, you have to correct that or you'll never get calls. Once you've established that, the next thing you do is you go into room coverage. So by touching on that, you will have a list of all of the room numbers pertaining to the unit that you're on. Yeah, really. She has it. You gave it to her. Okay. So the scroll down screen is this button here where it says more. You will only get eight rooms at a time. There's 36 or 40 room numbers that have the nurse call in it, but when it comes to the residents, the residents have a room number. Three is the floor, 60 is the room, and then you'll either have bed one, bed two, or bed three. So that will be the location inside the room. It's always counterclockwise, always. So when you walk into the room, the first room on your right is bed one, and then you go bed two, bed three. In L wing, there's only two, one or two. In K wing, there are three. So I have my list of seven residents that I'm going to be taking care of um, during my shift. And what I need to do, and the nurses all know this, it's their bed, it's not by name of the residents, it's by bed and room number. So my first guy is in 6001, you just tap on it. If you make a mistake, you just tap on it again and it goes away. But anything that's highlighted is what it is. So, these are... You say the ones that up. don't have the one or two beside our, them are bathrooms, our bathrooms. which are automatically those. hooked up to the bed one, bed two. Yeah, so so you don't, don't to... they don't need to do that. It's only highlight the bedside room and uh, bedside, uh, bed number. So then I need to continue adding. So I would turn the screen and it gives me more rooms to choose by. And then again, and every time I touch that scroll button, it turns the page and gives me more. 
So now I've entered the residence that I'm going to take care of during my shift. You cannot leave the screen opened. You have to go to save and exit and save and exit to get back to the original screen. If you leave the screen open, you will not get the calls. So throughout the course of the day, these residents are coming, are calling. All the information will come to my phone. It's the end of my shift. I come back here to the box, personal options again. Again, identify the phone that I have been using. I'm now going off duty. I go into room coverage and I'm not going to go through that whole scrolling business. There's a section here that says clear all. Not select or deselect all. Clear all and all that information is wiped out. So whoever is the next person to use my phone will start with a fresh slate. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. Um, so I will show you. I included in their documentation yeah. when they go to go to, to clear all before. Clear yeah. all. Thank you. Okay, because that is an important piece. 